This video is sponsored by No Scope Gaming Glasses. If you guys want to get yourself a pair of No Scope Gaming Glasses, there'll be a link in the description where you can buy yourself a pair. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Prez and welcome to another episode of NHLB a Pro episode 115. I believe it's episode 115. But anyways, today we're going to face off against the Dallas Stars. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's hit the ice. All right, guys, so let's get it started here. We are in the third period. Dallas is leading by one. There's a couple stuff I wanted to actually talk about in this video. One, a giveaway. Um, I know I haven't done one of those in a while. I pretty much haven't done those uh, since like, I leave like... 500 subscribers I believe I haven't done one since then but anyways I, I want to do I want to do a giveaway since like so many games are coming out for EA uh, such as like um, Battlefield 1 and just so amazing amazing just amazing games coming out from EA obviously of the new year uh, Mirror's Edge is coming out on EA Access on June 2nd so if you guys want to see a video on that make sure you guys smash the like button um, but anyways, so there's, there's a lot there's a lot of games coming out this year for EA Access or EA in general. So like I said, there's amazing, amazing, amazing games coming out for, for EA as like a company. Um, they got huge support for Battlefield 1, obviously with, uh, with Call of Duty not being boots on the ground. Uh, gameplay and Battlefield is actually doing that with Battlefield 1 going back to World War 1, an alternate version of World War 1. I made a video talking about this and my thoughts on it. Obviously, as a YouTuber, I'm going to buy both games and show you guys both games, obviously, as a YouTuber. And I really want to play I really want to play um, Call of Duty 4. So, I really want to play Call of Duty 4 again. I used to play it when I was a kid. Um, fucking huge hit. That was a huge hit. But anyways, we're going to the, going to the power play. Since there's only not enough time, um, usually when I record these are under like 10 minutes. I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit. I know you guys like that once in a while. But obviously, as you guys hear like in, in my commentaries recently, it's 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 changed. It's a lot more like personal. There's a lot more stuff to actually talk about because I don't have to record a video every single goddamn night. And um, with my schedule, I can record a video anytime and it, it, I, can re like, I can record it. Then edit it like two days later and make sure it's like really thoroughly edited. Make sure it's like top notch quality just for you guys. Because I love putting out um, the best quality for you guys. And to actually to actually do that, uh, to make the make the like the videos only three like three days out of the week, it makes a lot better content for you guys to watch. And obviously that is a big stride for me and my YouTube channel is to make the best content possible uh, for you guys. Obviously making the best uh making like 1080p 60 frames per second always and the best audio the best commentary not the best commentary once in a while but pretty good commentary i have some pretty good topics to talk about once in a while and sometimes i forget the topic i was talking about like i do now i completely forgot what was it for i completely forgot what i was talking about obviously i do um flub once in a while and I love to leave that in because it's just it's live commentary what I'm doing here. I'm playing live for you guys. I'm not like recording the game and then putting audio over it, like recording my commentary over it. I'm not I'll never do that. Um, only if it's like an NHL 17 news video or I just want to do a commentary just to talk to you guys once in a while. And uh, my thoughts like like on that Battlefield and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare um, thing that's been going on. Obviously. A lot of people have been dis disliking the Call of Duty trailer, obviously for like the hype, being a hype train, and um, all that stuff. But I, I generally, I generally think that Battlefield is going to be the number one shooter this year, and not Call of Duty. And uh, Call of Duty has been the number one shooter for years and years and years, and it's it's time for Battlefield to take its place. Battlefield has been an amazing, amazing first person shooter for quite a while now, like many, many years. Has been it's been an amazing shooter. I bought every single Battlefield. I bought every single Call of Duty. So I have no, I have no hate between both of the series, but I think Call of Duty should really go back to the World War One, World War Two stage, because that's what the fans want. And what the fans don't want, they don't. They're not going to buy your new game. They're not going to buy your new game to just to have like the futuristic warfare. Obviously, I like the type of future like futuristic warfare. Obviously, because with Halo and all that stuff. It's like built around like futuristic, obviously with with the Halo universe, 
uh, especially the Halo 3 universe, the year was 2025, and we're coming up pretty close to the year 2025. Um, not like really close, but like it's still far away, but it's, it's we're almost there. We're almost the year 2020, guys. Can you guys believe it? We're almost the year 2020. It's 2016, and... The best year, the best year I think it was for me was 2009. 2009, to me, was the best year ever. And um, I can't really put it into words what happened in 2009 for me. But in 2009, it was just the best. It was the best time for me. Um, right now, obviously, this year has been amazing. I've been um, growing. I've been growing tremendously on YouTube. And I've been getting a lot of subscribers and a lot of support from you guys, which is amazing. And I love that. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Even if I don't reply to you in the comments, I'm very, very thankful for you guys. Like, you're the ones who make this channel what it is today. And you guys demanded this kind, like this type of content. And I'll, damn, I'm going to deliver this, this awesome content to you guys. You guys love the NHL Be a Goalie uh, series, even if I'm bad at it. You guys still love it. That's amazing. That's amazing support. That's what the support I love seeing in my videos. And I don't like really any negativity around my videos. So if anybody like posts a comment that is like just rude or just being just being hateful and all the stuff, I actually block them and remove the comment. So you guys don't really see the comments. And obviously with some videos, obviously like with the first episode of NHL Be a Pro, my most popular videos are like of all time on my channel is like 10 to 9,000 views and I get comments all the time for that for those type of videos and I can't really filter out the comments in those type of videos because people are voicing out their opinions but if people start making fun of like my subscribers or start making fun of me or anything like that just being hateful then I actually do I actually do remove them and block them so I do filter out my comments pretty good but obviously if I do get bigger and um I won't be able to filter all the comments, comments and all that stuff. Maybe I would. Maybe, maybe I don't. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. My name is Prez, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of NHL Be a Pro, episode 116, guys. We're coming up. And I got a surprise for you guys coming up the, um, the beginning of a couple months before NHL 17 has been released. I got a surprise coming up for you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for some more NHL 17 news and NHL 16 content. My name is Prez, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. You know what? I'm going to extend this episode just a little bit longer. I thought I was just going to end it in the 5.5 seconds because it's pretty much the end of the game. It's pretty much the end, but let's see if we can get a quick little goal. No, we can't. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys next time. Like I said... Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys comment and like and do all that amazing stuff that you guys do. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.